Morning, afternoon, evening. Games without chance, and week seven, and we want to talk about mean values, hot, cold, sente, gote. So, um, and if you have a Japanese dictionary, you can look up the last two terms. All right, mean values. Um, one of the things we looked at a little while ago, at least in some of the extra problems, were these games, uh, for instance, like uh, um, these. Uh, and these are games called check games, cash and checks. And in these games, people really want to play them. But when you played some of these games, people grabbed the games. Uh, if this is the great game G, and you played G plus G plus G, uh, if you played sums of these, they, they behave just like numbers, or very much like numbers, or close to numbers. Uh, this can be generalized, and there's actually a theorem behind all of this, uh, which is called the uh, mean value theorem, uh, although not the same one as in calculus. And it says, given any game, there's a number, M of G, called the mean value of G, such that or when, and a number k, independent of n, such that when you add up g n times, that this uh, minus n times the mean value, that this is within a bound, which doesn't depend on n, of a multiple of the mean value. So, so large number of copies of g played together behave approximately like uh, a number. And as n gets large, k is, doesn't depend on n. So k is small relative to n. So as n gets large, this approximation gets better and better, at least uh, relatively. This is called the mean value theorem. And uh, analysis of this, uh, together with, with the actual construction of, of, of the calculation of the mean value called the thermograph, allows us for, um, uh, for to have a number of strategies uh, that are not optimum, but are actually computable, and in some sense within a bound of being optimum. That is, they're not necessarily optimum strategy, but they're guaranteed to be not too bad. And these are often based on you have a sum of a large number of games, and then the real question in terms of, of playing a game decently is which one to play in. So you have a sum of all these games. Do we play G2 first, or GN, or G1, or whatever? And if our opponent plays in G2, should we respond in G2 or go to a different game? And so this is our Japanese terms. Uh, sente gote. Sente means, uh, to have sente means, means that you play a move and, and you force your opponent, you have the initiative. The opponent has to respond to your move. Uh, gote is the opposite, where you play and your, your opponent can play in some other game. So in sente, uh, you play, for instance, in G2. Your opponent is asked to respond there immediately. And in gote, maybe you play in G2, he says, ah, uh, no problem. I'll play in G5 over here. So there's a whole class of strategies and approximate strategies and interesting um, constructions having to do with the mean value and various ways of, of finding it, uh, which give rise to approximate strategies for playing games and analysis, an analysis of whether you have uh, sente or gote. OK, next time.